Hi ladies, welcome back to the Brooklyn showroom. Today we're going to show you how to properly put on your wig. So first you should start by putting your hair into a low ponytail at the nape of your neck, like this. If you have thick hair, you can use um, the goodie clips to hold your hair. It comes in a package like this, I ripped it, but like this. And you would just take your hair and pin it up like this. Since I have such thin hair, I don't really have to do that. So then you would take a uh, wig grip, like this, and you make sure the label is on the right side of your head. It tells you the instructions on the package. So you just put it around your head, like this. So this, when you use the wig grip, you don't need to use the combs or the clips on your wig, so it helps prevent headaches and bald spots from using the comb. So it definitely makes it a lot more comfortable. Now, we'll start with the first wig which is our regular standard cap, open wefted cap. It has these straps on the inside that you can move and clip in. There's three loops on each side to make it tighter. So once you put it on, if it feels a little bit too loose here, you can take it off and then clip it. It's an elastic that pulls to make it tighter here so it'll fit more snug. So then you just take the wig this way. You put the front, make sure this is to your hairline. I leave a little bit of my hair out with this wig so that's why it's like this. So you hold the comb to the front of your hair like this, and then just pull the back over your hair, and then you're going to just push your hair under, tuck it in, pull it down, and make sure the ear pieces, which are these pieces on the sides, just want to make sure they're right above your ears, like this. You want to come a little bit closer so you can see where they are. They're just right above my ear, like this. So if you are using the clips, you can take the clip and clip it into your hair, but with the wig grip, it just lays right on top. And then you would just, you know, fix the style and like this, and it stays on really nicely with the wig grip. So for our second piece, I'm going to show you the Freedom Cap. Now the Freedom Cap is the wig grip built into the cap. I think that's this one. So it has this material that's on the wig grip already built in. So you don't need to use the wig grip. It doesn't have any combs or clips. And this one, to make it tighter, it has a drawstring here. It doesn't have the strap like the regular cap. So this one you would just pull here and that makes it tighter. And then you can tie this into a knot to hold it into place. So with this, I don't want it to be tight because it's a little bit snug on me already. So with the Freedom Cap, just make sure your hair is in a low, tight pony. And the same thing you just put at your hairline. And then you pull it back over. You tuck your hair under. And you want to make sure the ear pieces are in the right place. And the difference with the Freedom Cap, right now it's too low down on me. You don't want to drag it because the material will fold and get bulky here. You have to actually lift it and then move it like this. Just lift it up a little bit and then slide it back. And then you can you know, fix the style. And just like the wig grip, it won't move at all because it has the material that grips to your hair. So our third piece is the eye front wig, which if you don't know what that is, it's actually an invisible hairline. So it's lace in the front, which gives the illusion of the hair coming directly from your scalp. So you can see, you know, the lace piece. Um, this one is our standard cap. But the difference is that it has Velcro rather than hooks. So you would just, to make it tighter once it's on your head, you would just slide the Velcro over. Now with this, you can also use it with a wig grip. Um, they don't come with freedom caps, so you would use a wig grip if you don't want to use the comb. But I'm not going to put that on now. So you just slide the comb into your hair, slide this back over, push your hair underneath. And again, you want to make sure the ear flaps like right now, I think I have it on a bit crooked. You want to make sure the ear flaps are in the right area. And they also have clips here, so if you choose to do that. But now with the eye front, you just want to make sure that it's directly along your hairline so that it looks like it's coming from your scalp. If it's too low or if it's back where you can see your hair. So you just have to make sure that it's directly on. You can just push your hair under like that to make sure that everything is under and you see it gives a very natural appearance. It looks like it's coming right from your scalp. So I hope you learned a little bit from us today and we'll talk to you soon.